embarrassing. That is the word that comes to my mind right now. Embarrassing. I wish this laptop, hold on. Maybe I can, nah, I didn't think so. Yeah, I didn't think so. I wanted to look up, I wanted to look up the definition of embarrassing before just now, cause it, it came to my mind, but it doesn't matter because I am embarrassed right now for 12, sorry, let's see, yeah, about 12, 11 weeks, for 12 to 11 weeks as a Philadelphia Eagles fan, I can brag and brag and brag and I can take it to some degree but I'm a sore loser. See, when I win, I can't speak for other Eagles fans. I can only speak for me. When we win, when the Eagles win, when the Sixers win, when Steph Curry wins, I am I enjoy the win. I talk a little bit of trash, but for the most part, I'm humble. Because I don't want, I don't want to start nothing, right? But when we lose, I am a sore loser. Like you, you don't want to be around me when when we losing, cause I'm I'm not a fun person to be around. My whole well, I mean the day is over, so my whole day tomorrow is going to be ruined because of tonight, right? I said it last week after the game losing to the San Francisco 49ers. I said. This week, this game tonight against the Dallas Cowboys will tell me everything I need to know about this Philadelphia Eagles team. And I was right. I was absolutely right. It. I did find out everything I need to know about this Philadelphia Eagles team. And that's, that's their trash. And that's that they're garbage. And that's that they're overrated. And that's that they're not going very far in the playoffs at all. Like, honestly, at this point, I don't even know if they're going to be an NFC South division winner. I don't. And, the NFC, and, 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 and like, they legit might go one and done. And I honestly kind of hope they do because there needs to be severe, severe changes because I, I just, I don't get it. When you have an offense that's as talented as this offense is, and you put up zero points tonight. Zero. You laid a goose egg. Jalen Hurts fumbling. Uh, uh, A.J. Brown fumbling. Devontae Smith fumbling. The offensive line can't block. We ain't got no running game. I just... I don't get it. The only touchdown we got tonight was from a sh was from a strip fumble that was returned for a touchdown. That's it. That's it. That is embarrassing. It is embarrassing that both AJ Brown and Devontae Smith had buckets put in their hands by Jalen Hurts and you dropped the ball. That is embarrassing. It is embarrassing that no matter what the situation is on defense, I know this defense can stop a cold. That's embarrassing. It is embarrassing of how, how at one point we called this offensive line the best in the league. I can't say that anymore. Jordan Mailata, Landon Dickerson, Jason Kelsey, a future Hall of Famer. Cam Jurgens, Lane Johnson, trash, embarrassing. Jalen Hurts, 10 interceptions, 5 fumbles, embarrassing. <sighs> Brian Johnson, embarrassing. Nick Sirianni's game plan, embarrassing. 
The fact that we don't have a third wide receiver. Embarrassing. The fact that we don't have any backup tight ends. Embarrassing. The fact that we don't have any linebackers. Embarrassing. The fact that we just got to keep signing people because we ain't got no... Because our GM don't know... Embarrassing. The fact that I thought we had a good defensive coordinator in Sean Desai. And part of the problem is, part of the problem is, we ain't just got no players. Like, we ain't got no players. That's part of the problem. That is part of the problem. I don't want to put everything on Sean Desai. Because I'm like on the offensive side of the ball where nothing's missing. And you have good, you have great, good to great players. Over on the defensive side, you got basically a bunch of guys. You got a bunch of Jags over there. And he's trying to do the best he can. In this, matter of fact, in this sound a little bit familiar? Remember back when uh, 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 Jim Schwartz was here and we were saying the same thing? Oh, well, I mean, Jim Schwartz is trying everything he can, but he ain't really got anybody. It's the same thing over again, but somehow worse. Somehow worse. Just embarrassing. You knew that the 49ers talking all that smack all during the offseason. You knew that. And you let them come in here and you let them bully you. I said, fine, okay. It's okay. I said, well, it's, well, it's not okay. But I said, you know what? They weren't going to win every game. It's fine. They, they... The 49ers just wanted this game more. It's okay. okay. We'll move on. But next week, oh, next week, oh, don't worry. They'll be okay. That's what everyone was telling me. I, all I said was, we'll see. I said, well, this game will tell me everything I need to know. And they let this Dallas Cowboys team just smack them in the face. They weren't ready. Again. Every time we got something going. Fumble, fumble, fumble. <sighs> and now we've dropped from the one seed to the fifth seed. That is embarrassing. I am embarrassed right now. I can't even be like, fly, Eagles, fly. I can't even be like, no, nah, here's the thing. I'm not some of these garbage people out here who wants to be like, oh, don't worry. I'm going to ride it down with my team. I believe in my team. No, they're going to figure out the problem. They're going to fix it. Maybe they will, but I can't see how. I, I don't uh, how, how you going to fix it? Tell me how you going to fix it. Tell me right now. How can you fix this defense from being so trash? Tell me. How can you fix it right now? Right here, right now. How can you fix it? Tell me right here, right now, how you can make this offensive line actually do their job and block. Tell me. Tell me that next week, Sean Desai, not Sean Desai, uh, uh, Brian Johnson won't forget to run the ball and Jalen Hurts will throw the ball 50 times. Tell me how. Tell me, tell me, can you confidently tell me that? Tell me that Nick Sirianni will have these guys ready to play and they won't show up and look embarrassed on Monday night. Tell me that right now. Can you tell me that right now? Can you tell me that this offense is going to show up? Can you tell me that? Because before we were like, oh, we ain't got Dallas Goddard. And you know Dallas Goddard makes this offensive go. Now that Dallas Goddard is back, oh, we straight now, right? Wrong. Wrong. Embarrassing. I'm completely disgusted. I'm embarrassed. And quite frankly, I'm on the verge of not caring anymore. I, I really am. It's only been two games. You're 10 and 3. Oh, but they say if we win out, if we win out, we win the NFC East. That's a possibility. That is completely a possibility. 
But you're going to tell me right now, if we went out, we're going to have to go to San Francisco. You confident in that? We might have to face the Dallas Cowboys. You confident in that? You know what the funny thing is? You know what the funny thing is? Is when the season started, I actually had them losing both of these games. But I didn't think they'd be in the position to where they would have the number one seed. I didn't think that. I just, I, I, I really did not think that, you know. I thought they'd be a good team. But I just thought, you know, they'll be, a, you know, whatever it is, you know. They'll be one of the top teams. But... Things change, and this is why I say, even though they were winning, even though they were finding a way, I said, can they keep this up? Can they keep this up week after week after week? They were behind, and they were, but they were finding ways to win games, and I'm like, they can't be stopped. And I'm just like, but can they keep this up? You can't win a Super Bowl this way. And then look what happened. They've now lost two games to the 49ers, to the Dallas Cowboys, giving up 75 points in two games. Embarrassing. Well, at the same time, only putting up 32. The Dallas Cowboys can put up 32 points in their sleep. I thought we could do the same thing, but apparently not. <sighs> so, gut feeling. Do we win next week? Next Monday. Do we win? In Seattle. I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know. But I already found out everything I need to know about this team. I wish I was wrong. I wish they could prove me wrong. I'll come on here, apologize, and get on my hands and knees and whatever the case may be and say, oh, I'm so sorry. I doubted you. Blah, 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 blah. But this is why I said when when my dad asked me, I remember I was, I was sitting in the living room. And I was watching the Eagles preseason game. And he asked me, he said, what do you think? How do you think the Eagles are going to do this year? I said, I don't know. I said, I don't know. I said, it's very hard. I said, I said it's very rare for a team to lose a Super Bowl and get back there, let alone get back there and win it. It just doesn't happen all that much. You'd have to be truly special. And then them starting off the way they did, I thought, even though I'm like, there's no way this is, like, you could just tell by watching this team that something is off, right? But they were winning, but something wasn't right, but they were winning. And I thought, maybe, just maybe, they could do it because they, they just find ways to win. But now, I mean, still look, you can look at it and go, in this stretch, they went Dallas, Kansas City, Buffalo, San Francisco, Dallas, and then Seattle next week. They went, they've gone now three and two in that stretch. I mean, most people would take that and be like, hey. But people are going to remember these, even if they beat Seattle next week, right? 
everyone's going to remember these two games. They're going to remember them, and they're going to go, yeah, but they, did you see what San Francisco did to them? Yeah, but did you see what Dallas did to them? Like, they didn't, Dallas didn't even get into the end zone in the second half. They did. They held them to what? Like, nine points, I think. They held them to nine points in the second half. And it didn't matter because they they just couldn't move the ball. I've, I've never seen anything like this in, 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 in a long time in, in, in Jalen Hurts' era that they just could not score. Like, I, everything that could go wrong went wrong tonight. And I'm embarrassed. But they said it. If they went out, they win the division, right? Just knowing this team, I, my, I don't want to. I don't want to jinx them, and I don't want to say something. But I'll just say we'll see. We'll see. Because I'm already thinking about. Nope, won't say it. Won't say it. Won't say it. Will not say it. I will not put it out there to be spoken. But all I'm gonna say is we'll see. We will see. But as of right now, what time is it? December 10th at 1156 p.m. I am embarrassed. I don't know. Quite frankly, I don't really care right now. But that's my feelings on the situation. I'm done talking. Let me know your feelings in the comment section down below. How are you feeling? If you think I'm being a terrible fan, let me know. If you think I'm being unfair let me, in the comment section, let me know. We can have this conversation. We can talk about it if you want. I don't bring it, please. I'm. I do not. I am not afraid of of, of confrontation about this. So bring, please, share your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I look forward to giving you my thoughts on why I feel embarrassed and the way I feel the way I do. Till next time, I will catch you again next week. So. Peace. See you.